ethnic conflicts, cultural conflicts, conflicts among peoples of different religious traditions, and conflicts among people as well uh, who belong to different social classes. And this is all around us. So that's where the church enters with its social teachings. Here at Scarborough, we have um, the Justice and Peace Office, which is headed by Karen here. And the work of the Justice and Peace Office is precisely to address that source of conflict, that source of alienation. What Scarborough's Justice and Peace Office tries to focus on is, we look at where, where Scarborough missionaries <coughs> are serving overseas, and what is it that's going on here in the North that uh, is impacting on where people are in the South? And what are some of those issues that uh, we could be um, working on here? And what I do now... Um, Meet Karen Van Loon. For many years, a Scarborough lay missionary in Brazil. And today, as the director of Scarborough Mission's nearly 30-year-old Justice and Peace Office, the person most directly responsible for making Scarborough's long history of teaching and living church social doctrines better known to the public. And what I do now is try to set priorities with other Scarborough missions. What, what would you like us to focus on in justice and peace work? And when I say that, that, mean, that means like education, of people, advocacy on issues, that kind of thing. Just a little bit of what I do here. Uh, For me, it's, it's extremely important. The Catholic social teaching, or some would want to say Catholic social thought uh, of the church today. And that thought or thinking proceeds and comes forth directly from the gospel and from the experience of church. It's part of our, our legacy, if you will. It's an unknown wealth that exists within the tradition of the church. And so I, my sense is, yeah, let's get it Let's make it known. Let's try to do what we can. Scarborough Mission's ongoing education on church social teaching reaches out in every way possible to both high school students and adult learners. It all begins with the Scarborough Mission website, where every important document is made available, beginning with Pope Leo XIII's social encyclical Rerum Novarum, The Condition of Labor, in 1891. It includes the social encyclicals of various popes, documents of the Second Vatican Council, as well as statements of local and regional conferences of bishops. The website also highlights the Revised Catholic Catechism, which lists pages of teachings on social fairness under its explanation of how the seventh commandment, thou shalt not steal, is to be lived. For myself, I've always had a strong calling to work for justice, and that even came um, before being serious about my faith. Um, Scarborough has long had a commitment to serving the reign of God and to working for justice and being on the side of people who are marginalized and impoverished, working to change structures that are unjust in the world. And it was only when I realized that, that I made the connection between uh, social justice and my faith. So to have found that connection um, with Scarborough Missions for me was um, very important. When I came to Scarborough Missions, and I kind of saw, you know, environmental issues were, were important, but it was off to the side. I was more concerned about poverty and injustice and human rights issues. And then around the year 2007, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change came out with its report. And I became more aware of the impacts that climate change would have on people in the, in the Global South. We are the ones in the North who have contributed the, the greatest amount of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, but the impacts, at least in the beginning, will be more felt in the, in the Global South in places where Scarborough missioners were present. One of the charisms of Scarborough today is uh, working along the lines of ecology uh, when I was in Brazil or working in Brazil, one of the big things there, one of the issues is the deforestation of the jungle. The burning and the clear-cutting of, of the Amazon forest to raise cattle. 
and this is very controversial within Brazil, and steps have been taken by the federal government to, to limit that in recent years, and to, to a certain degree, uh, they've been able to stop some of the deforestation. And in countries where Scarborough missioners have been present and are present, like in Malawi, in Africa, in the Andes, in, with the glaciers melting, um, even in the Amazon area, which is under threat of drying and turning into a savanna, you know, addressing overconsumption and things like that here is something which our lifestyles and policies and things like that here that have an impact on people in the global south. So ecological justice and climate change um, is the first priority. This shift now, which has been part of my own shift, and I would say part of Scarborough Missions, to also look at ecological justice issues and to make the connection between the two. For myself, I see it as very critical in my involvement with Scarborough Missions. And I would say it's a, a faith issue for Christians everywhere.